My name is Carissa McKelvey. I'm an open source programmer and a PhD dropout. I studied the relationship between online communication and political events. I got really frustrated with the data problems I was having and I started getting involved in data tools and visualization and that has led me to do more open source data tools and um, now I'm grant funded and nonprofit and uh, traveling the world doing cool data stuff. DAT is a data tool for sharing data. We focus on keeping data open and reusable, reproducible. So it's kind of like Git, but we really have good uh, defaults for large data sets and like randomly accessing data within a big data set. So it's uh, kind of a really nice way to do distributed file sharing. If a data analyst goes to a data portal and wants to study water quality, they might get a data set. They might go to another data portal and do another data portal. What happens if one of those 100 data portals that they go to changes their data? They won't actually know unless they go back to the data portal and look for the data again. So um, someone might turn the data set that they're using on a data portal into a DAT. And then so instead of having to go to the website every time, you just say, oh, are there any updates today? And it's more of like a pull model. So DAP first started as a prototype project funded by the Knight Foundation. So it's $50,000 for six months of work. And it first started as a data sharing tool for open government and journalism. This is like our third version. This is our third grant as well. The strength of public funding is that it's publicly funded and you're probably doing something that people actually need in the real world that the market wouldn't do. So um, corporations are really good at doing uh, something that people will buy, but that's not necessarily something that people need. As the most exciting thing that motivates me is I'm able to work on projects that uh, just can't be solved in the market. Start early and um, uh, publish often, like release often and test often. Um, don't develop in a vacuum in the corner of your room. Um, go outside, um, anywhere outside, like coffee shop, like library, like wherever, and just like talk about it and get people to use it, even if it's just like really simple. Because if you have a good idea, the chances are that as long as you have something that kind of works, you'll start getting other people who want to help. And then you can start building a team. And then once you start building a team, you'll realize you can move a lot faster. So that'd be like my first thing is just start, just go, just start doing it and talking to people about it. Um, even if it's like not 100% working.